Good morning, boys and girls. Today is a new day. We will talk about a brand new lesson in math. We will talk about tallying. What is tallying? It's new, something new, right? We will also talk about ways to show the numbers. Remember, we learned about the numbers, but there are so many ways how we can show the numbers of objects. And of course, we will learn a new song. And yay, I have a happy face there because we always want to learn something new. Okay, so... This word is a big word, a new word that you need to put in your head. Let's spell it for, um, help me spell the word. T-A-L-L-Y-I-N-G. It says tallying. What is tallying? Okay, so let me put it there. And it begins with the letter T. And what's the sound of the letter T? Tallying. All right, so um, numbers in many ways. How do we show the numbers in many different ways? We talked about that, but let's just go over. We always want to go over the things that we learned in the past. And past means something that happened long, um, long time ago. It happened already. Okay, so um, I have here dominoes. Okay, on this side, I have um, six red dots. And on the other side, I have five. So if you have six and five, how many dots do you have all together? So this is like addition. So you represent the, the number with, with a domino by counting all the dots. How about the number here? How, what's the, my number here? I have six red dots on the left and I have one green. So put it in your head. The big number comes first. The number comes first. So six, seven. So that's seven, that's counting forward. How about this, let's count forward. You know there's six here because there's three on top and three at the bottom, so you know already that that's six. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there are 11 dots on this domino and there are only seven on this. So which one is more, 11 or seven? The 11 and this one is less, number seven. So that's one way of, um, representing numbers and we also have here these are the numerals all these numbers are numerals 34 is a numeral 77 and 3 and a 7 is 37 so these are different numbers i have three digit numbers here okay i'm not, not three digits there there's only two digit numbers here but um the one digit numbers are one two three four five six seven eight nine okay 10 is not a not a one digit anymore it's a two digit number because you need a one and a and a zero to make number 10. also i have here the dice we normally call it dice but like what i've said before they call it now the number generator so you just shake it and then what number do you see if you put two and two together you have four or this is a two and this is a two put them together you have number four so that's another way of um showing a number I also have here um, play cards because you know it's COVID-19 we can't go anywhere we try to limit um, our outdoor activities so we just do some indoor activities we play games with my family okay and this is a number 10 10 hearts this is seven okay and this one is seven also seven diamonds okay so these are two numbers are equal they are the same and this one is not the same this is more than these these two numbers because this is just seven if we compare these two numbers this one is less and this one is more but these two together seven diamonds and seven aces they have the same number number and the same numeral up there okay so they are equal now another way to show the number like what we learned in the past is looking at the 10 frame okay what number do i do you see in here there's only three there are only three dots on top and how about this i have more dots okay i used to 10 frames now because this is more than 10 so you know um if the top part is um filled up and the bottom part is filled up you know that's 10 so 10 come forward 11 okay this is 11 this is not 11 it's only three okay so you can also do that and another way to show the number is by writing the number word o n e is one t w o is two t h r e e is three remember we, we did this song before f o u r f o u r to make a number four five f i v e f i v e to make a number five and you know a nickel is worth five cents because if you turn them um, 
if you do the nickel, let me see, I have a nickel here. If you flip it over, you'll see five. F-I-V-E five because it is five cents. And this is a nickel. We learned this um, when we talked about money, okay? All right, another way is um, to master all your numbers is to play a bingo card. Now, randomly write some numbers on your card. Make like frames or boxes like the 10 frame and then play um, a game with your family, okay? All right, so now let's go to the main, the main topic for today. It's about tallying. We talk about how we use numbers in many ways, okay? So we sh um, I showed you the dominoes, the, the 10 frame, the bingo, the number words. I, I forgot this, the number months also. You see how I group all the stars? I color coded the stars. How many is this? There's five and five and five. So we count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay? But guess what? We can make counting a lot easier. Okay? Now, tallying makes counting a lot easier. When do we use tallying? It says here, counting is made easy with tally marks. Hmm. Have you seen tally marks before? Have you seen tally marks before? Mm, maybe you've seen um you've seen something like this before, but you are not sure. You were not sure um what it is called. Okay. So if I have when you remember when we played the game, the big step game, um I split the class up with team A. This would be team A and team B. So every time team A um wins, I put a tally mark. When team B wins, I put a tally mark. Team A wins again, I put another tally mark. Team A wins again, put a tally mark. Team B, um, team A wins again, team, I put a tally mark in team B. But guess what? What if I have four tally marks here? What if team A wins again? What do I do? Should I keep going this way? I keep adding tall lines or fences? No, we would stop at four. We always stop at four because the fifth one is a slash, okay? So this is a tally mark. It's like a gate. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash. The fifth one is always a slash. So you count one, two, three, four. Then the fifth one is a slash. And it looks like a gate, okay? What if... Team A wins again. What do you do? Then you start again. Start again. And then again and again and again. The fifth one is the slash. Now you have two gates. Okay? So now you count by fives. This is five. And this is five. Now you have ten points. Team A gets ten points. Okay? Now we will talk more about that. Let's um continue. Okay, so we said that tally marks is... um. Okay, tally marks help counting um, easier. And in here, it says tally marks help keep a score, like what we did. Okay, now when we play the game, we always use the tally marks. We just keep adding lines, but we stop at number four, okay, four. And um, there you go. Another one is tally marks are strokes for those lines. They, we put them in order to count the things in groups of five. It's always in groups of five, okay? And the last time, another another information about um, tally marks is here. One tally mark for each object, okay? When we count the objects, we put one tally mark. If there's one bear, one tally mark. Two bears, two tally marks. One win for team A, one tally mark. One win for team B, it is one tally mark. So we just keep on adding. All right, so um, let's dissect. Dissect means we will talk closely, okay? We will dig deeper into our topic about tally marks. Okay, this is my title. It says, what's this? Tally marks. Then five tally marks should always look like this, like a gate. Okay, now, let me get my board. There you go. Can you count for me? Count one to ten for me. One is come right down and that is all. That's number one. Two, curl down and slide to the right. 
And number three, curl in and curl it, curl again. Number four, I forgot my stone. Down, over, down some more. Number five is down, around, and put on the hat. Okay? Come right down and that is so. Come right down and that is so. Come right down and that is so. To make a number one, two. Curl down and slide to the right. Curl down and slide to the right. Curl down and slide to the right to make a number two. And then three, curl in and around it again. Number four is down, over, down some more. And number five is down, around, and put on a hat. What comes after five? Six, curl down and curl it up. Curl down and curl it up. Curl down and curl it up to make a number six, seven. Slide to the right and slant it down. Slide to the right and slant it down. Slide to the right and slant it down to make a number seven. How do we do number eight? Make an S. You see that number eight? No, um, not number eight. Letter S. Okay. And close the gate. Okay. That's a number eight. And close the gate. Uh-oh. My marker is, is out. Okay, let me use my green instead. Okay, there. Oh, my green is also dried out. <laughs> okay, let me put it away. All right, so that's number eight. Make an S and close the gate. Make an S and close the gate. Make an S and close the gate to make a number eight. Okay, so I use my orange instead. Okay, there you go. You see the, the letter S with the gate? Okay, how about number nine? How do we do nine? Make a circle in a line. I'll use my orange marker to make the line. So you can see the circle in the line. There you go. Oh, messed up. Make a circle in a line. Make a circle in a line. Make a circle in a line. To make a number nine. What comes after nine? It's ten. Come right down and make a zero. Come right down and make a zero. Come right down and make a zero to make a number 10. Okay, now let's do the tally mark. Let's match the tally marks with these numbers. Okay, remember these are one digit, one digit, one digit, number one digit, one digit, one digit, one digit, one digit, one digit, two digit. Okay, so when we do the tally mark, because there's only one, only one, like one happy face, we only put one, one tally mark. Two happy faces, then we got two tally marks. One, mark down a tally, put it in a row. We put them in a row, not, not scattered. I don't want scattered. Put them in order. You remember what it says? These are strokes put in order to count the things in groups of five. Okay, so how about if we have three? Three happy faces or three circles mark down a tally put it in a row mark down a tally put it in a row mark down a tally put it in a row we're not finishing the song because we only need three okay let's do to number let's go to number four four happy faces so each um tally mark is for one object one happy face okay let's sing the song Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. We stop right there because we only need four. Okay, let's do number five. Mark, oh, we need to draw one, two, three, four, five. Now I have five happy faces here, okay? All right, so sing with me. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash. There you go. The fifth one is a slash. All right? So that's a gate. Remember, we put the strokes in order and we count objects in groups of five. So this is five. How about if we have more than five? We have six. Okay? Let's do another gate. Sing with me. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. <laughs> Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash of so this number six, but we need to separate it. Okay, my board is kind of heavy. <laughs> okay, we need to make a sleeping line right there and make another tally mark, okay? 
All right, do you see it? Because I think it's not very clear. Let me see. Marker, marker. I don't have my black. All right, so let me do it again. Let me rewrite it here. Four, and the fifth one is the slash and the sleeping line, and one extra because five plus one is six. Let's do seven. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is the slash. You see that? Okay, I'm emphasizing the slash right there. And I put a sleeping line here because we need five. Put it in your head. Five, six, seven. So you have a gate and two extras. That makes seven, okay? Six is one gate and one extra. Let's go to number eight. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash. So that's not eight yet, okay? That's only five. So let's keep on going. So five in your head, five, six, seven, and eight. So how do we make eight tally marks? A gate and three extra. So five plus three equals eight, okay? All right, let's go to number nine. How many gates will what do we need for number nine? And how many extras? Let's find out. Ready? Go. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is the slash. So we need that gate and put a sleeping line to separate the gate with the extras. Okay, so five, we're trying to make nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Oh my goodness, we have a gate and four extras right there because a gate and four is nine, okay? How about number 10? How do we do number 10? What, uh -huh, what, does, what does it look like? Ready? Come, sing with me. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is the slash. So we have that one gate and separate it with the sleeping line. Let's do it again. 10, I'm sorry, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, because that's nine. And the fifth one is the slash. Oh my goodness, we have two gates for number 10. And we count by fives, five, 10. There you go, okay? So, um... Try to do this at home. You write your numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you draw your pictures and make tally marks. Can we do that? Can you do that for Mrs. Santa Anna? Okay. And um, yeah, this is about tally marks. And we don't want to put the tally marks in, in, um, in a chaotic way. I don't want it um, not in order. You need to put your tally marks in a row in order, okay? Because that helps our brain focus, understand? Don't forget the sleeping line, the sleeping line between your gate and your extra tally marks because that's easier, okay? It separates the gate from the extras, understand me? Okay, so um, here we go. Um, before we end, you know what? Your finger, your one hand is like a tally mark, like a gate. Watch me. Okay, you can sing with me. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is the slash. There you go. Your thumb will be your slash because you have five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth one is the slash, okay? Same with your other hand, okay? Hide your thumb, okay? Let's do the, the song. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash. So how many gates do I have or how many tally marks do I have? Groups of five. I have one group of five and one group of five. Put them together. We have ten, okay? So five, ten. Understand me? Okay, I hope you learned something today. We talked about tally marks and we have different ways to show the numbers like this, this, the dominoes right here. Get the dominoes. We have the number generator. We have the, um, the cards, okay? Ways to show your numbers. We also have the number words. This is a big word, okay? And it's a big number. It's 20. And, um... 
you can also use these um, numerals, okay? And don't forget the, what's this? The pen frame, okay. All right, so um, for your homework, guess what? I have a bowl of candies here, chocolates. Okay, I have this and this, okay? All right, look closely, look closely. I want you to count how many are purple, how many are red, okay? How many are purple and how many are red and how many um, pink chocolates do I have, okay? Let me show you. Let me get my tray so you can see it. Make tally marks for me, okay? Label your, you, uh, label my chocolates, okay? So I have this. This one is um, the purple. I have red. I have pink. I have red. I have purple. I have purple, another purple, another purple chocolate, another purple, and another, and one red, okay? So how many red chocolates do I have, and how many purple, and how many pink chocolates do I have? Can you write the numbers and make the tally marks for me? Another homework for you guys before we go. Okay, watch this. Look at my tally marks and write the numeral down here, okay? Copy my tally marks here and write the number that represents this tally mark. Same here and here and here and here. Everything start from top, middle, and the bottom, okay? Another homework that I want you to do is count my um, pictures here, write the numeral, or write the tally marks in the box and write the numeral on the line. Can you do that? How many stars do I have? Write the tally mark, write the numeral. How many happy faces do I have? Write the numeral, write the tally mark. The tally mark should be in the box. What is happening? Okay, put the tally marks in the box and the numeral in the, in the line. And how many cars, tally marks in the numeral, and how many lions do I have down there? Okay, and last one for practice, you can randomly write numbers like this. You can put some one digit and two digit numbers and then make your tally marks and ask your parents if you get stuck ask your parents okay how to do it and let's sing the song again okay let's sing the tally mark song again okay you stop at what number how many standing lines do should you have only what only four you cannot go over four okay let's do a tally marks the tally mark song ready go Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. Mark down a tally, put it in a row. The fifth one is a slash, okay? So four and the fifth one is a slash, all right? I hope you learned something today. We learned about tally marks and a new song, okay? Bye-bye. See you. I really miss you guys. Okay, I hope you're doing fine. Bye. I love